The roads are closed between Matlock and Cooper and Arlington police tell us they now have one suspect in custody. Adriana de Alba is live on the scene. Adriana, bring us up to speed. Hey, Cynthia, Izzy, well, still a really active scene out here. I can tell you that they're saying the crime scene is now secured, but what police are doing is going through and combing through evidence, trying to piece together what happened. I'm going to move out of the way so you can look at the scene here. Um, but we know, like you said, the shooter is down, alive and in custody. That is confirmed from police, and they have told us, police have said there are no other injuries that they are aware of. Um, but beyond that, we're still waiting to learn more for police about what happened. We know that that crime scene is primarily at the parking lot outside of Honda Vandergriff off of I-20, but still unclear if any shots were fired inside. Police say that around 6.30 this evening, they got a call about a shooting at Honda. Now keep in mind, it was still open at that point in the evening and busy with customers. And police say they got to that dealership and encountered an armed person who was taken down. We did speak with a witness this. That woman told us she was in the middle of test driving a car with her husband and her daughter when they started hearing gunshots and in total she said she heard 20. We're panicked. My daughter, I have her face down in the, the back seat. I'm like, stay down, don't do anything. We didn't know where to move because we didn't see where he went. And since we saw the salesman from here coming this way, we were like, we don't know if they're following him. My husband did say he did see where he aimed the gun at someone, but he didn't, he, he wasn't able to see who it was, but he did see the, the gunman like, um, like aiming at this person, but I don't know if he shot him or not. Now, I also spoke with a Honda employee who, of course, understandably didn't want to go on camera. He was still very shaken, but he told us that he heard the gunshots while working inside. He ran upstairs to the balcony of the building and tried to hide behind a, a, a bunch of bricks. He was trying to barricade himself and hide. He left his phone in the building while he went up there, and so his wife was trying to get a hold of him. So, as you can imagine, lots of panic uh, and terror for, for this couple until they were able to reunite outside. So those are just some of the stories that we've heard from witnesses and people as we've been out here. And again, we are standing by uh, waiting to learn more from Arlington Police about what exactly happened here today. All right, thank you very much, Adriana. Some scary stuff out there, and we'll have an update on that story uh, coming up tomorrow morning on Daybreak. But